Recently, I did a couple of videos in Photoshop where using luminosity masking, which is creating a selection in channels, that selection was then put onto an adjustment layer and it allowed us to darken down pictures, to add mood, to add light into an image. It's also a fantastic way of producing black and whites, as we can see from this picture here, if I just switch these on. It's also an amazing way of actually toning a black and white picture, as well as doing a little bit of color popping. Now, as I've said, this is using luminosity luminosity masking in Photoshop. So why am I showing you this in Photoshop Elements? Well, guess what? With a little bit of a workaround, we can do exactly the same thing in Photoshop Elements. So let's take a look at this picture here of our rather stormy Barry Island. Now, the first thing we need to do for the workaround is to select the entire image. So we're going to come up to Select. We're going to go to All, Command A or Control A is the shortcut for that. Now that we've got our selection, we're going to come to the Edit menu. We're going to go to Copy, so we're going to use Command C or Control C as the shortcut. We have now copied the image to Photoshop's clipboard. Right, over to the Layers panel. We're going to come up to this little half black, half white icon, which is for the new fill or an adjustment layer which is just as well because it's an adjustment layer of solid color that we're after. I'm going to click on this and we're going to click OK. So there is our adjustment layer. It's solid. It is black, but we need to be able to see the mask. So what we're going to do is bring your cursor over to the mask area here. Now press and hold down Alt or Option. Click on the mask. As you click on the mask, you can see there it is. It is now visible on the work surface. Let's come up to Edit. We're going to go down to Paste, Command V or Control V is the shortcut. And what this is going to do, it's going to paste in what was on Photoshop's clipboard onto the image and it comes in as a black and white picture. Right. For this particular mask, we need to invert it. So we're going to use Command I or Control I. That's Command I, Control I to invert it. We have now got ourselves a negative looking image. Next, we're going to go to Select. We're going to go to Deselect, which is Command D or Control D. This is our luminosity mask. So what are we actually looking at with this? Well, where you got the lighter tones here, this is going to be onto the mask itself. So you're going to see more of the solid color where you've got the very dark areas here. This is going to be looking through that mask onto the image underneath. We are using a dark luminosity mask. So we're looking from the darker tones through to the mid-tones. Right, let's just click on the little eye icon. This is going to take us to the image itself and look at the difference that's immediately made to this picture. Just switching it on and off. Fantastic or what? But there's more. If I double click on this, that brings back our solid color. We can start to bring it up. But as you start to bring it up, you can see the way it goes a little bit chalky, a little bit misty. So I'm going to click OK. Changing the blend mode from normal we're going to go to multiply. That looks even better. Let's just double click again so we can bring it back into the darker tones. We can lift it up as we start to lift it up. You can see the way that's looking. Looks really good like that. You can even start to bring it into the color. And as we start to bring it into the color, look at the way we're introducing the reds into the picture. Not sure reds would go, but how about a little bit of blue? Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Now darkening down those blues into this area here. Let's click OK. Fantastic or what? So we've now gone from this to this. Right. Black and white. Let's click on the background layer. Let's switch off our adjustment layer. We're going to use Command J, Control J. That's Command J, Control J to duplicate our background layer. We're going to go to Enhance. We're going to go to Adjust Color. We're going to go to Remove Color. There it is. There's our black and white. Let's switch this on looking pretty good like that, isn't it? Double clicking again. And as we start to bring it over, we can come right onto the left hand side. There's our black and white. Keep it over on the black and whites there on the left hand side. You can lift it up as well as you lift it up. Just release it and just have a look and see which one suits your picture. Now, when you're looking with this, we are, don't forget, looking at it with the multiply blend mode. You can just reduce the opacity. See how that works? There looks absolutely amazing. So that's the story so far. Now when we look at this, just take a look here. You can see the way that's looking solid black there. That's looking really dark. Let's bring the mask back out again. I'm going to press and hold down Alt on the keyboard. I'm going to click on the mask and there it is. You can see there's the white. So that's showing the solid color. 
So let's just click back on the little eye icon. And if I make sure we're working on the mask there, I've got black as the foreground color. I'm going to pick up my paint brush. Let's just take a look into the tool options. I've got a soft edge brush, opacity 61%. Let's drop it down to 50%. I prefer using this at reduced opacity. Now as black as the foreground color. Look at the way I can just come over that once at 50%. Let's go over it again. Let's bring back detail into there. A little bit more detail around that area. Fantastic or what? How about if you want to darken down a part of your picture? Well, if you put white as a foreground color, so don't forget white is now going to bring the mask back. We can come around this area, something like that there, and just paint that in, just making that a little bit darker, just into this area here. Great stuff. Right, look at the difference that's made to the image. <laughs> okay, a little bit of color popping. We're going to click on the background layer. We're going to put in a layer mask, so we're going to click on this Add a Layer Mask. I'm going to make sure I've got black as the foreground color, so I'm going to press X on the keyboard, and I'm going to click over this area here, and I'm just going to go over that like this, bringing through the colors. Let's bring back the reds and the greens there, so just clicking down again. Don't forget, I'm a reduced opacity, and over the reflection, brilliant, perhaps a little bit in the reds, a little bit on the yellow there. There it is. The other thing it's always worth exploring as well is with the various blend modes. We've got Multiply here, the other good ones, uh, Overlay, it's worth trying. It's uh, Soft Lights, that can be a good one as well, as well as Hard Lights. Yeah, I like the way Hard Lights is working with that, just changing the opacity. There it is, like the way that is. And don't forget, if you want to add a little bit of tone into the picture, you can do that as well. Let's just give a little bit of a, a blue tone to it. Click OK, there it is job done. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel as well. That way you'll get all the latest videos as they're being released. But until the next time, it is happy imaging and take care.